Hey, what's going on, guys? This is the wake up video of the day. I'm about to go and get changed, get the shower, you know, um, get it situated. Um, probably hit the weight room also. Um, so here's the thing. I want to talk to you guys about one thing that I let, kind of left off yesterday. Um, I want you guys to remember that I'm not thinking about myself. I'm thinking about other people ultimately. And that's just the way it is for me. That's how I was raised. I can't help it. My grandmother, she did the same thing. She passed away, I believe she was like 85. She worked until she was 83. She worked for this, um, you know, retired doctor doing clothes and uh, washing clothes and ironing clothes or whatever. Um, she did that because she was taking care of a person, family member, you know, who had kids who need to eat, who chose to not work and, and take care of business, who just was just terrible at the time. She's better off now, but she was terrible at the time uh, when it comes to life. So my grandmother grinded it out and she was happy up until the day that she had to quit that job because her foot swole to a point that she couldn't really walk and it hurt her because she still wanted to work because she had pride. That's how I was built. And that's how I was raised. So I can't turn around and live this, this life that um, may be better for me, but it ain't going to make me happy. You know, so a lot of people now, you know, with the way culture is gone, people are selfish. People only worry about themselves. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. It ain't. But that ain't me. I think about other people. So when I live, when I'm out here grinding, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, setting myself up with um, opportunity that's going to allow me to trickle it down to my family and people in need. OK, and if I end up working until I'm 90 years old or until my death so be it. At least my kids are going to be left with, you know, uh, money from my life insurance. But you got to do what you got to do. So I know a lot of people, you know, they see me as this guy that they want better for me. But sometimes you got to let that person walk. Let them, you know, choose their own path, which is what I'm doing. Because I know, you know, I can go get a sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 a year job. But that ain't going to allow me to really help people that need help in my family, you know. Um... It's only so much money. So with the path I'm taking right now with me, you know, grinding out these 80 hours a week and doing YouTube, I'm going to be live streaming almost every day. I'm actually going to add streamer to my resume. OK, because little did I know, because I've been doing research the past week. OK, it's OK to do these, you know, videos um, and put out um, pre-recorded videos and um, post. It's OK to do that. Yes, you get more money than live videos. But with live in the long run, you make more money because you can offer, um, you know, not only do you get sponsors eventually, but you can offer um, <laughs> affiliate uh, products. Um, then on top of that, you have people that are engaging, you know, giving you, you know, um, super chats, um, you know, um, signing up for subscriptions and um, et cetera, you know. But now this is streaming eight to 10 hours plus, okay? Now, you know, a lot of people, they say that I'm doing too much, you're working too hard, blah this, blah that. You have streamers who are on Twitch, mainly uh, biggest platforms for the most part, Twitch. Um, they're on there streaming for like 12 to 15 hours a day, okay? Which is why most of them that are doing it big, you know, they're streaming 12, 15 hours a day and they got, you know, thousand plus live um, uh, viewers. That's the reason why they're millionaires. Now people will say that they're working too hard. Like for example, these academics, he probably works more than 80 hours uh, a week, you know, with everything he got going on. And guess what? He's multimillionaire, signing big deals. But he worked himself up to that. He's been doing it for 10 plus years, okay? Um, being a streamer. So as I continue, you know, this path on YouTube, that's the reason why I'm doing a little bit more streaming now because I'm working anyway. So why not just stream while I'm working? Um, and like I said before, you're only gonna get where you wanna be by taking a chance and putting in effort, okay? A lot of people fear putting in effort. A lot of people just expect it to come easy, you know, and life ain't like like that. Life is not set up like that in America. You got to uh, take a risk and you got to put that that time in. Um, if you don't, you're never going to get where you want to be. So right now, the reason why, once again, I go hard in the paint, you know, I'm putting in it ain't about putting in the hours. I don't care about the hours. It's the dollar amount per hour um, that I expect to make months from now or a year from now. You know, and I'm seeing my my time, um, my dollar per per whatever hour, or whatever increasing by the day. You know, uh, between with you have YouTube and you have um, Rideshare, and I'm gonna add other things into it to where I might be doing, um, you know, buy phone while I'm waiting for a Spark delivery. Go buy a phone, 
enlist that that's time or that's money that's gonna you know also add to my value of, of, of time so with that said you know I hope if you take anything from this video that you understand that um, I'm not really phased I'm not gonna change it up you know this is probably um, with having this YouTube channel this is probably the longest that I've gone with with a plan you know, because I'm not gonna lie, a lot of you guys are right about me um, switching up, um, changing my mind, um, you know, coming up with new plans every day. Okay? Yes. Because I see a comment or I see like I will run into somebody and they'll talk me into doing something different that makes just no sense. So now, uh, with that said, you know, this is, the, this is the plan for the next year and a half. I'm going to just grind it out eight hours a week um, and do. Um, um, YouTube, and then when sports betting starts, I'm gonna do some sports betting and cut cut some of my ride share hours. But I'm still gonna be putting 80 hour work weeks in. Um, it might not be all with ride share, certain set times, you know, certain times, certain um, weeks, but it's gonna be 80 hour work weeks because ultimate goal is fifty thousand dollars by the end of next year, and all my debt paid, everything paid. Okay, and it's a big challenge, and a lot of people are going to you know be like, what the heck. But a lot of people believe in hype. A lot of people believe you can do it if you just do it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to sway away. And I know I'm making a lot of sacrifices in personal relationships with people, you know, even family and friends. But I choose this over that because those relationships can be, you know, rebuilt, um, retouched on if um, it's necessary for that to be. Because if somebody doesn't support this, then I'm not trying to have that person around because I'm ultimately doing that for them. You know, because everybody, almost everybody I know on my side of the family uh, needs that extra boost. And that's the boost I'm trying to give. You know, I'm trying to get to the point that I'm able to really be a, um, you know, part of growth for a lot of different people. And then even on this YouTube, there's a lot of people who need that boost and that kick in the butt that they can do it too. And I'm hoping in a year that, you know, I, I stay, keep my mind straight, um, stay on the path that I can now have a message to share to people who want to get somewhere better in life, who fear doing it because they think that they're going to fail and ain't going to work. I want to be a representation that it can work. You know, I've literally, and I call them failures. I failed multiple times. You know, most of it were choices that I made that could have been avoided. I could have avoided every failure if I would have put the right, um, uh, or set it up the right way, you know, contracts, agreements don't do the work until i get paid etc but hey it's in the past nothing i can do but look at the future so i hope once again that you know i'm going to build this community up now i know youtube is one of the worst streaming platforms to really do it on uh, because of the fact you know you can't really speak your mind without worrying about getting getting banned you get shadow banned and all of that um but i know with twitch um I'm not set up yet. I'm gonna set this car up. I got a laptop, um, steering wheel, um, uh, whatever you would call it. Like a, 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 It's like a bag, you put on a steering wheel, you put your laptop on it and you can work. So I'll be able to work the apps, you know, Twitch and whatever such, um, the better streaming apps from the car. And I'll be able to live stream. I'm gonna have set up with two cameras. I'm gonna have a camera there, a camera here. Um, but for now, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna keep it with this camera. Um, I'm not gonna use the computer. I'm gonna just keep it um, solid with this. And we're gonna rock it, rock it out and I'm gonna build it up, okay? But with that said, anybody can do what I'm doing right now. Like literally, you can have a channel with like 100 subscribers, 50 subscribers, it doesn't matter. You can literally do what I'm doing and build yourself up. Uh, streaming is a thing and I try to share how to do it on all my lives. I give you guys a little bit more information every single life on how to do it, you know? and. It's really, and one thing I was sharing in this video, if you feel like you're not entertaining, you can't really hold a crowd, you can't hold an audience, all you have to do is go on Twitter. Go on Twitter and stroll at Trending Topics and just talk about things. Like, give people your point of view on what you think about those things. Now, if you, I'll be real with you, if you are giving your point of view based on what other people that you wanna be cool with are thinking, then it ain't gonna work. You gotta speak for you gotta speak your mind. Like unpopular opinion is, for example, voting for Trump. I would never bash anybody who votes for Trump. Just like I won't bash nobody who chooses not to vote for Trump as long as they didn't vote for Trump because they didn't like policy or whatever, or they didn't like 
something he said, but if you're not voting for Trump because you're gonna be cast and, and pushed and called not black and all that, then you're not gonna work on YouTube because now you're just following the, um, the pack and the pack are not gonna check out your channel. They're not gonna tune in and support you, you know, cause you're just like everybody else. But it's somebody bigger that's, that's pandering and giving them, you know, the yes man um, commentary on subjects that, hey, why would they pay for you smaller channel when the bigger channel doing the same thing, but hey, they're better at doing it. But when you give your own personalized point of view at these topics and these subjects, and you know, for example, rise share, how to make the money on rise share, you give your own point of view, how it's working for you. You're better off and you gotta have people that actually gravitate to you and wanna, you know, uh, rock with you. You know, because you're genuine, you're yourself. And then a lot of people, you know, they like, you just don't have a lot of subscribers, but they like what you got. They look at you like a big YouTuber. And when you grow and you blow up, those people are gonna be still there when you blow up, rocking with you and those people you wanna, you know, show love to and make sure that you know, they know that they were um, a vital part of your growth. You know, um, they go on your Hall of Fame board. But the point of the matter is, you have to understand, if you got a group of people that's rocking with you, then you're you're heading the right path. Now, if you're on here, you got two people viewing your channel and you're like six months in and then you gotta switch something up. Maybe you're not it um, in regards to having a conversation. But I got stories for days. And sometimes I'll tell y'all this. Sometimes I repeat situations and stories but it's like a movie some people like to see a movie on repeat over and over again the same movie you know what's gonna happen you know who's gonna die but you still want to see the story but with that said like i said i'm about to grind it out today it is actually about to be i'm running a little late doing this video it's 9 53 i gotta get started um i wanted to start at 10 so i'm gonna be starting at like 10 30 um get this grinding and um we're gonna go and try to rock out 200 at least 200 today um look, try to do a little better than yesterday um, this time i'm not gonna take any big orders that are from like the um, ghetto um you know walmart's because yeah it's just too complicated uh, just charge the car up uh, it cost me 13 dollars to put i think it was 160 miles i got no no i was at 120 and i got two no I, actually um 140 miles 140 miles for 12 dollars and I, I missed out on the peak. So I paid a dime extra. So I pretty much paid about uh, $3 more. So it would have been $9 for 140 miles. It would have been $9 if it would have came two hours earlier. But I came late, so it was $13. So let's grind. Let's get it get it in. Um, if it's anything you guys would hope to get out of this channel, put it in the comments. Let me know below. And if you appreciate this message and what I'm trying to do here, hit me with a like. Um, so I know that you guys appreciate what I'm talking about, but I got to go. Somebody's trying to pull in the charge. That's all I got for now. I'm out. Peace.